to today's video and today is Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is because it's holidays. Today is Tuesday and we are almost down to the wire at Christmas. My family Christmas is on Christmas Eve so we're like Tuesday, Wednesday, there's three more days. Sam and I are out doing all the things that people do during Christmas to get ready. Sam's still waiting for his truck to get fixed. He the the person fixing it, the guy, the mechanic, had to order a part, so we're waiting for that. Expensive An expensive part, yeah. $2,000 part. Yeah, didn't this happen recently to us as well? I remember another time when it was like, maybe at Christmas last year, I don't know. But anyways, Sam and I are out in another city. We traveled uh, far and wide to finish our Christmas shopping. I just need to get like a few little tiny things. I also need to do like my grocery shopping and get everything ready for Christmas. I'm super excited. We're doing it now early in the morning while the girls are still sleeping so that we can get home and I can do some stuff with our horses and edit some videos. You guys, we have so many videos and we're so behind. Like fun, exciting videos. I'm trying to get them out for you. But before we start today's video, I wanted to tell you guys like a little quick update on Gray Finn. I love him. I don't know. I still don't know exactly what's in store for him and Gabby, but I'll tell you this. This is what I observe, and maybe it's different from what you guys observe, but I know he's not perfect. I know he has things to work on. No horse is perfect, and but while you're making a horse your own, every time you buy a horse, you have to make it your own, and you have to work on things and change things, and that's kind of like where they are in their journey. But what I do know is that I've seen time and time and time and time again, he is consistently the same horse with every ride. He's never nasty, never mean. He will go out of his way to do things just because she asks him. But what I love the most about Gray Finn is that he lights a fire inside Gabby. Gabby will spend hours working on one little thing just to encourage him and get him to feel comfortable at something. Gabby celebrates every tiny victory that she has with him. Like, she doesn't care what he does wrong. She only cares that one little tiny bit that he does right. And that is what horse ownership is, is meant to be. That's what I feel like it should be. I don't know why, but he has a fire in him that matches what she craves in a horse. And I see it and every time she gets on him and I just watch her and watch her and she is on fire. Like, I hear her talking to him in, in his stall. I hear her being gentle with him and being kind with him and I just that's why I say I feel him I feel him for her but Sam has a different opinion what do you feel about Grayfin? Too not the right horse for Gabby. Sam wants too much a, work too much work. Sam wants a horse that Gabby can just jump on ride and win everything is that what you want? Yeah that's right yeah, I'm not that kind of person. Gabby's not that kind of person. We, She wants a horse that she can build up and make her own. And I want that for her. Like, I, I don't know, guys. I'm interested to hear. I know you guys have said it so many times. But I'm interested to, see, to hear, like, what do you guys really, truly feel about Grey Finn? Mom, candy for Mom, the entire day. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, something crazy is happening. Sophie's 12 now, and we we measured her. Just wait, stand in front of Don't. No, let Sophie stand in front of you. But, anyways, like two, like a month ago, Gabby measured her. I'm gonna pull my hair. A week ago. A week ago, and how much did she grow? Yeah, like she's growing now. Okay, wait, back to back then. See, um, I can still pony she's switch. Right there. And a month ago, she was right there. Mom, I yeah. Used, I used I to be this small, but now I'm this big. Wow. Okay, back to back. I used to be this short, and now this. It, it is loud in here. Turn around, back to back. Like, holy heck. It's getting close, you guys. So close. Like, two inches, and she's she's right, on you. I'm only two inches taller than her. Yeah. <laughs> Barely two inches taller. Anyways, uh, we are home. We stopped in Kingston, and we saw my grandkids, two of them. Uh, baby Jack. And baby Aria, oh my gosh. They were so sweet, so fun. Anyway, we're home. Anyway, we are home and Sam surprised the girls with McDonald's. I hate no, McDonald's. Didn't. Did you guys message him and ask him? He called me. He called you and said, hey Gabby, do you want McDonald's? And what do you want for supper? <laughs> Chicken nuggets. 
Okay, so uh, you guys know that I've been talking about, it's so dark in here. You guys know that I've been talking about doing different things with Chino for his feet. So the only thing that is, whoa, the only thing that's actually wrong with our horse, confirmed by two vets. Sophie, so when we were gone, I told Sophie she had to clean the living room. I'm gonna give you guys a tour quick. Don't Mom mind my bags that I was shopping. All right, yes. Yeah, so there toys here until I was sitting on that couch and then he started shoving toys in my face. Yeah, the dogs kind of messed it up, but she did a, such a good cleanup. Normally she's terrible, but, Gabby was <laughs> but she actually cleaned up, did a good job, and oh, it was oh. Gabby that did a bad job. I'm gonna get you guys to guess my dad's Christmas present that I bought him. Well, that will be hard, Sophie. Um, well, it only looks like one thing. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> it's his favorite thing though. Yeah. It was Gabby's job to clean the kitchen and she did not do a very good job of it. But anyways, anyways, what I wanted to show you guys, I bought some bottles, some cleaner bottles at the dollar store when we were out. And I told you guys before that Chino's only issue is that he's got soft soles and flat feet. And so um, I wanna try and fix that. Like, so my focus this year is going to be on diet, horse diet, which I've already been learning a lot. And also it's going to be on hoof health, you guys. So uh, part of hoof health is diet related. Just like with people, you can't be unhealthy and have good feet. But anyways, so um, I have like a one, two, I don't know, four part plan, five part plan for Chino. I told you I'm gonna make a video soon, but I have two more things I'm waiting for them to come in. But this year, um, but right now I'm making something that we're gonna be using on our horse's feet. In Ontario, it's super muddy in the fall and in the spring, and a lot of the horses this year, because it was so wet the whole entire winter, because it was so wet the whole entire summer, a lot of horses are having problems with thrush. Only one of our horses actually was having problems with thrush. But I want to start working on a preventative theory with our horses instead of like fix things after they happen. So, so I got this stuff called copper sulfate and vinegar and I'm gonna make a concoction and put it in these bottles. And I'm gonna use it on our horses as a preventative, all of them so that they don't end up with any issues. The only horse that ever had an issue this year was Penny. This stuff is blue. All right, I do not have anything to pour this in here. Uh-oh. It definitely smells bad. It smells so bad, you guys. Oh, it smells so bad. But anyways, then I'm gonna add a vinegar. Uh -oh. You stuck up pouring. Well, it's because I looked. And then I'm gonna shake it all up. But basically, this stuff is supposed to be really good for preventing and for curing thrush. And apparently, it's blue. I'm gonna put more vinegar. Anyway, apparently uh, this stuff is really cool. If you spray it on your horse's hoof and it bubbles, it means that there's bacteria in the foot and then it need, you need to treat it again the next day. And then once the bubbles stop, you're done treating it. And then you just spray it on the horse's hoof once a week to prevent any kind of thrush. So we're gonna start using this on our horses every single week, you guys. Can I do this? Why don't I show you yeah. how it's done? Yeah, show us how right, it's done. So how much, all right, how much do you put uh, you just covered the bottom of the bottle a little bit with a thin layer. And as soon as we come in here to shoot a video, the dogs come in to spill the dog food, make a mess. That dog spills the dog food every day. So I ordered this copper sulfate. We don't sell it anywhere in Canada, so I ordered it off of Amazon. I know everybody has their own way of handling thrush and having preventative. Abby's doing dishes, so that's why the house is so noisy. And we'll have one jar for our house and one bottle for at the barn for the boys. So you're gonna be in charge, Sophie, of putting that on your horse's hooves once a week, okay? It's gonna kill me. So Finn actually had a little tiny bit of thrush this past summer. Tiny, tiny bit that we cured right up. Okay, so we poured this in here. So Sophie's playing it smart with the vinegar. We don't do too much all the time. Yeah, then since it has no handle, we hold it. Oh, 
hold it like this. Oh my God, just pour it in. How hard is it? And we pour it in. She did it better than me. I can pour it in easy. Yeah, well, I was trying to look at the camera and pour it in. Can no, I pour it? I no. Pour it. I wanna pour it. Gabby, I made this. I wanna this. pour it. Oh, I wanna pour it. Yeah, first Gabby. let her do hers and then you can make your own bottle. You have another bottle? No, I should have bought three bottles. In a few minutes, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna spray this on Penny's foot and I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna see if it actually bubbles, which will be really cool. All right, that's probably good. And then shake it up. See, I do things the smart way. I yes. work smarter, not harder. I work faster, not disaster. <laughs> Yours ended up in a disaster. <laughs> it kind of did. Sam is over there fixing his tractor. He's had a really rough week, you guys. Penny. Come on, Pen. Come on, Penny. Come on. Come on, Penny. Come on, Princess. She's already bossing the other ones around. Come on. Come on, Pen. Sophie wants to play with the ball with Penny. See if she remembers. Penny! Did she come? Is she coming? Is my girl coming? Where? <laughs> Where is Penny was ridden two days in a row, so she's thinking like. Penny, <laughs> Are we gonna put that on all our horses' feet? Yeah, every week we're gonna put it on our horses. Oh my god. Ooh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> It was a race. Did you guys see that? I don't like them racing in here. Hi, Pen. Come here, Penny. <laughs> She's like, eh. Come, Penny. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna get you a carrot. Where's your ball? Oh, you guys missed it. She, she loves her ball. Look, <laughs> your ball. Do you remember it? She does. She remembers it. <laughs> oh, do you have treats? <laughs> go get Penny, treats. You you treats. stay here with her. I'll get treats. Do you guys remember when Sophie taught Penny to play with the ball? And Penny loves the ball. In fact, Penny is like a very uh, inquisitive kind of horse, and she likes to play, which I love. She knows the same way. Oh, there's the kitty. Oh, hi, Ollie. Oop, there he is. All right. Hey. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. He shows me the butt. Everybody shows Laura the butt. Everybody Hi. shows Laura the butt. Yeah, that's not for you. Oh, he's so fluffy. So fluffy. Yeah. He's a smart boy. It's the shy kitties that live forever, knock on wood. Yeah, look how chubby he is, you guys. He's so furry. All right, let's see. Let's see the show that Sophie and Penny are gonna put on. And I have, look it, go. Penny, you love the ball, you guys. <laughs> She's so cute.
She's good with screw yeah, bottles. Yeah, but you can never know. <laughs> Here. Especially when you have to hoof pick her too. I know. Hold so we both want to see it bubble. <laughs> we want to see you bubble. Sophie doesn't usually take care of her, so I don't know if she's going to be good about it or not. Penny, we have to talk about the shavings in your hair. It needs to end. I love playing with Penny. Like, I can play with her all day. I know. I love playing with her, too. Elizabeth is going to come a ride her soon over Christmas because the last time Elizabeth was wanting to ride her, she wasn't riding yet. So, yeah. Okay. All right, people of the Internet. Is that enough? Yeah, put it right back there because that's where the thrush really gets in. Oh, I see bubbles. Do you see bubbles? Barely. Barely any bubbles. Spray up there a bit. Right here? Yeah. Look how good my girl is. Okay. All right, no bubbles there. Okay. So it's been two months I've been bringing Penny back into work. I put my hand against the wall like, like this. And it cracks. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Just, just an FYI for anybody who wants to know if Sophie's hands crack. They do if you push them oh, against the. Oh, I can crack my elbows too. Yeah, that's weird. I swear I she's. I can do it with this elbow because this I elbow. I swear she's double jointed or something. Okay, come on, let's get going. Thank you. See, she cracked her foot too. Yeah. See. Okay. We're gonna see. In just a minute, look at how good she is. She's like, "Am I being ridden again, Laura?" So I rode her two days, which is two, which is more than I normally do, in a, like so close together. So now I'm going to do a few days of working on the ground. I'm excited. All right, all right. This is the one. This is the bad one. Did you put it off? No. Okay, wait. Watch. Oh, I see bubbles. I did too. We saw bubbles. Oh, More like a lot of bubbles. It's not like when you put peroxide. But you can kind of see the bubbles. Wow, that's her bad So the bubbles actually look like like soap. Like little soap bubbles. Just tiny, like little teeny tiny bubbles. And that's how you know there's bacteria, they say. But that's so super cool. I love it. Can you try her, Willow? Yeah, this is her bad foot. This is the foot that I've been treating with some other stuff for a while. It used to kind of be open in here, but it's, it's doing much better. All right, gotta put it down. Let's see if little Willow has bubbles. Her feet are perfect. It's dark here. Yeah, it's too dark to see. Do you see bubbles? No. I can usually tell. You should, No, you have to do it to all her feet because it's a preventative. And then we'll do Gracie. But the weird thing is, well, not the weird thing, but the cool thing about thrush is that you can always tell if your horse has it by smell. And you can always tell if it's getting worse by smell or if it's getting better by smell. Like, that's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa. So, today's the winter solstice. Do you know what that means, Sophie? Um... No. It means it's the shortest day of the year. It gets dark earliest. Just today? Yeah, well today's the, the dark day, yeah. Use the brush and scrub I scrub scrub. I'll get the stuff. Right. She probably has perfect feet. No, she's got good feet too. Ponies do. Like they just have good feet. You see bubbles? Nope. Nope. No bubbles for you. You're Another thing that we like to do to help our horses have like not bad feet is to pick them all the time. Like we try and pick our horse's feet as often as possible. We do it at least three times a week. I do Penny probably four times a week and um, I like to do it at night if I can so that they're going into like a nice clean stall with nice open feet, no mud all packed in there because I think like that's a good 12 hours of, of. can you turn out the light for me? Halter, horse. Oh, I left my halter on and my I horse. I need to show something to them. Uh oh, what'd I do? You just got, you didn't do anything. You just got to take the halter off. Okay, go show them. I want you to come too. Okay. Penny, why didn't you tell me I left your halter on? She probably did. She probably did. There you go. If you left that on all night, she could have stuck. Yeah. So. Good You're night. welcome for having me here. Yeah. Good night, Penny Pickle. Only one stayed there. Oh. That's one that stayed there, and I just picked that one up, and that one's alive. Yeah, this is there. our collection of and caterpillars. And that one came back. 
Yeah, it's just weird, you guys. I don't know why the cat doesn't eat them. Just joking. Hey! Don't kill anything because karma. I find them everywhere around the barn. I know. Are caterpillars good luck? But it's a I don't know. spiritual meaning of the caterpillar. They're Sophie's spirit animal. Anyway, that is it for today's video. It's kind of short and sweet because we had to be in Kingston all day. Uh, but three days till Christmas Eve. Four days till <gasps> Christmas Eve. Yeah. I know. So exciting. Anyway, that's it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?